Good afternoon. It's already been a day. Uh, so happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know when I talked to you guys. So we ate and then I was just tired. It was cold here. Well, 70. I suppose that's all relative. It was 29 in Minnesota. So, um, but for here and dreary. And so I just laid in bed the rest of the day and the next day was rainy all day long. And so again, just kind of laid in bed and did nothing. I think I went over to see Keith. Was that yesterday? Oh, I did run into town. And, um, and then I got tacos for me and Keith and then just hung out. But so I got on was that, um, so this morning I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a lot done. I got a lot of rest. I was ready to go Saturday morning, got up, got my coffee, uh, did some computer work that I needed to do. So I'm like, check, 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 clean the van, check, check, check. And then, uh, it was, so it's cloudy today, but it's not raining, but the sun was kind of peeking out. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to start my, uh, I have a e-bike to review so Keith went into town to get some new tires so you know I pull out I have to you know have all my camera stuff and everything and so I'm doing all that well we're like in a flight pattern or something over us there's a lot of airplanes so I you know have to wait until the airplane goes and then I you know start doing it and then these kids drove by oh and then um so why I'm here so I am at squirrel I'm at Ace Hardware because I was riding and um, I must not have screwed the bolt on hard enough for the headlight and so I lost that somewhere and couldn't find it. So I'm here to get a new bolt. Uh, Keith had one on his that was kind of just like the one I have so I have to go get one of these. Um, and then I was going to do my B-roll but I had forgot my helmet, so I had to go back to the van. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna run into town and get this stuff. Oh, and so then I picked up my keys and this is all wet. And I had them on the sink and I don't know how or why, but the fob must've got um, wet. And this is the fob for my security system. And do you know, I never heard my security system go off, but I will tell you that if somebody is ever trying to get in the van, it's gonna scare the shit out of me. Oh, hold on, here comes somebody's looking at me weird. Okay, he pulled out. Um, but I was going to leave and I went to unlock the door and I kept locking, unlocking, locking, unlocking. So I go to quick open it when it was up and then all of a sudden the alarm went off and this alarm is so loud. And listen, I'm in the middle of an RV park. And all these people are coming out. I was so embarrassed, so quick. I run and I grab my screwdriver to, um, you know, I open the hood and it's even louder because I'm under the hood. That's where it's coming from. And I undo the battery. So I undo the battery and I'm like, okay, okay. So I think it's reset. Like I think that, you know, okay, it stopped and it'll reset it. Um, Cause did I say that I think the fob got wet? So the key got wet or the battery. And I think that's what shorted it out. But I could not figure out when I went to put the battery back on it started going off again and I'm sweating and I'm like, Oh my God, there's people like, Oh, so like the police were here. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. And so I'm looking at YouTube, trying to figure out how to disable it. Um, it's the Viper. And so, uh, one of the groundskeepers comes up and I said, uh, because I figured that I have a, it's under my mirror, and that's said to push on that. And I tried that, but I 
realize I didn't have my keys in. So I wanted it to be as quick as possible. So I'm like, can, can you just put the battery on when I get in and tell you I'm gonna turn the key on and then I'm gonna push it. And so he did start going off and I turned the key on and I pushed it and it did go off. But there's something else going on um, cause it's been acting weird. I Then I just got in and drove to Ace Hardware and I just unlocked it or I, you know, turned the key and then it started going off again. It's locked right now, so I'm afraid that's gonna happen. And so what I do is I push that button again. So I'm not sure how to reset it. So I'm hoping getting a new um, battery for the fob will help. Did you ever like have one of those days? You're like, I should have just stayed in bed. <laughs> but anyhow, so uh, it's pretty early still. It's early afternoon. So let's see if the day can get any better. Let's go get a screw for the bike and let's go get a battery for the fob and see what happens here. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Yep, that's what happened. I just opened the fob and it's wet inside. So I'm sure that's what what's shorting it out. Let's see if I dry it and get a new battery, if it'll work. Fingers crossed. Good morning. It's Monday. I don't even remember the last time I picked up the camera. It has been, well, here in Florida, it has been uh, raining and overcast. It rained, when did it, it rain like all day long the other day, you know, and honestly, I'm gonna, to be honest, TBH. Um, I just felt a little like down, which is normal. You know, the weather, hey, at least though, I'm not in 29 degrees uh, and snow. So I'll take that. But, you know, I think it's to the holidays and everything else. And so if you're feeling that way, just know it's normal. I pretty much hibernated for like three days. Um, I did, I missed two days of working out. Um, since I've been here, I've worked out pretty much every day, which has saved me. Um, and we're also thinking about moving parks. Uh, when we got here, the first week was amazing. And then in the interim, they've changed management. <laughs> Guess what? The pool isn't heated anymore. So, you know, we would go there at night and, you know, go swimming and go in the hot tub. You know, a nice way to like end the day and see people. Well, now nobody hangs out up there. Because today it's 70 degrees, tomorrow it's only going to be 60 degrees. So nobody's going in a not heated pool. And I'm from Minnesota. And so um, if I won't go in the pool, <laughs> I don't think people here are going to go in the pool. So anyway, um, uh, Keith is looking into that. There's a place he called. Uh, but today, this morning is the first morning. Oh, and Keith and I went to go to a movie last night. We went to see The Hunger Games. And, you know, looked up theaters around here, found one, and it even gave show times. We were going to, oh, I said, see the Hunger Games. And it gave show times, and there was a 5 o'clock showing. We drive there. <laughs> it even says theater, like on the, you know, the display thing. And um, driving around, don't see anything. And pull over and ask a lady. I'm like, hey, where's the theater? Oh, it's not here anymore. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How can you like have show times and have it on the marquee and there is no theater? Anyway, so we ended up going to get barbecue, which was really good actually. Um, so that was good. And uh, yeah, and now I'm going to put up some lights back there. And I think I'm going to try and refilm the, um, the, what do you call it? You know, the plasma. Uh, thing I did. I don't know if you know I did it <laughs> and then the sound for some reason didn't work and that's when everything happened with Maddie and so I just never got back to it. So see what happened. So I'm in the back of the van now trying to <laughs> get these untangled. They're supposed to look like that. I bought these way before I left and again you know, best laid plans, planned on putting them up and never got to it. 
I don't know, today finally I feel like I got a kick in the pants to uh, be productive. And so hopefully it'll last. Um, anyway, uh, I was going to tell you guys too, somebody said, you know when I gave that speech at Dr. Galani's, somebody said, oh, did you go to Toastmasters? And here's the thing, I did go to Toastmasters. Um, this was about, wow, 10 years ago maybe? And I, I wanted to be a speaker. I wanted to be like a motivational speaker. Well, I still kind of do. And I actually, um, I went to Toastmasters for, I don't know, maybe like three months, six months, something like that. And, uh, and then probably about five years ago, um, I went to the National Speakers Academy, the NSA, and um, I got a certificate from there. And I met uh, a really good friend. Her name is Gigi. We have the same kind of, oh, we have the same kind of outlook on things. And uh, she actually like started speaking and stuff. You know, they make it sound like it's so easy to become a motivational speaker and get speaking gigs. And it's just really not. Um, but, you know, when I was up there, I can see, I yeah, haven't had many opportunities to get up and speak or give a speech. And um, it was actually uh, fun. Again, something I used to be terrified of, you know, most of us, public speaking. Um, oh, look at the moon. The moon and the stars. I didn't know they were this big. Uh, but... I found that uh, I was comfortable, like I said, I made bullet points. I just wrote them on the way to the place, to the venue. And cause he had just told me the day before he asked me to speak and I was busy doing stuff until we went. And um, so I just wrote down bullet points. Well, I went off the first one and I'd gone over it in my head. And after that, like the bullet points went out the window, but I think I pretty much covered them. And uh, you know, it was fun to be like, yeah, afterwards people came up and said wow that was a great speech you know and uh it kind of motivated me i would love to give speeches but listen i'd love to do a lot of things <laughs> you know and um my thing is time i have so many interests um and just not enough time to do all of them but if you know anybody that wants to hear me speak let me know Okay, I'm gonna go try and see if I can put these up and I'll show you if it works or not. And a couple things before I forget. Sorry, bad angle, you're sitting in my sink. <laughs> but uh, somebody asked me about, cause I've been doing the gua sha every single morning. I think maybe I've missed one and that was it. So I'm just gonna tell you my skincare routine. Um, it's interesting, now I've been using these glycolic acid 20% resurfacing pads. I just got these on Amazon. I am not sponsored, I am just telling you what. And so at night I wash my face, I actually have to order more. Um, I wash my face and put some toner on and stuff. And then I take the pad and you should see like the residue that you know, you think you're cleaning your face, but a lot of times there's some left. If you don't know, I'm also a licensed esthetician. So here's me talking about skincare. Anyway, um, so, uh, and then you just leave it on. And then the next morning I just wash it off. Um, and then that's when I do my skincare skincare. I used to do that at night and some in the morning. But so right now I'm just using this vitamin C serum and so i splash my face and then i put that on and then i use the gua sha somebody asked me how you use it listen you can look up youtube videos on this but you know i just do this it's like a lymphatic drainage and so you know i do this and then see the crux there you go along your jawline and do that and then i take it and i go all along here and honestly i have seen a difference in like even just this whole line right here and my jawline. So not saying you have to do it. You don't have to buy this. I got this, um, I broke the first one cause it's kind of very delicate at, at Walgreens for like uh, eight bucks or something like that. And then I just use a vitamin C serum. You can use whatever serum you want to. I have rosehip oil and I was doing it at night 
until I got these. And the rosehip oil isn't good for really soaking in. It's something good that you use at night, you know, that um, will be slippery with this and then, um, you know, soak in while you're sleeping. But I found that it was too heavy to do in the morning because then it's like under my makeup. So after I do this, then I put on, um, like I have other uh, skincare products that I use. And then at the end, I always, always, always finish up. This is 100 SPF. And I put that on my face and all over my decollete because we're trying to keep this as young as possible as we can for as long as possible. Okay, is that all I had to, oh, yep. And I forgot I had these. So, you know, I drink coffee in the morning, but in the afternoon I'd like something warm, but sometimes not coffee. And um, these matcha, again, just got them at Walmart, are amazing. This, so I um, like warm up almond milk, I don't drink regular milk. And then I put some of this in it. And then I just use, I got oh, 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 one of these. Yeah, it just mixes it well. Um, this was like eight bucks on Amazon. And uh, yeah, amazing. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm sure it's really good too. Again, I just got them at Walmart. They're called Jade Leaf. Um, but, and it's like sweet, but you know, the milk kind of makes you feel warm inside. I don't know. I'm really liking the matchas. So anyway, and you know, for the cold months and stuff too. Anyway, I just, you know, people ask me stuff and I'm like, okay, I'll get back to it. Cause sometimes I can't answer right away. And this lady asked me about the gua sha, I think like a month ago. <laughs> so I'm just getting around to it. Okay. Now I'm going to try and put up the lights. Okay. Not bad. I think they look pretty. I still have to figure out, I just taped them up there. I see this one already fell down, but uh, I'm gonna get some clips next time I go into town. And, you know, imagine if it's dark, that will be a nice background. I like it. Okay, this video I think is short and sweet. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Like I said, I forget last time I uh, videotaped, but uh, Keith and I are gonna go and um, do some b-roll. So I have, um, I have some reviews coming up for some glasses. They're super cool. And then, uh, for an e-bike and that's, we're going to go do some b-roll and for a scooter and then for a power pack. So, um, I got to get those done. And that's, what's hard is those are weather dependable, you know, if it's raining and stuff, can't do, really do a review on that stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm hoping today to uh, do that, I don't know, a little documentary, I guess, on uh, plasma donation. Because uh, I, you know, really dug into that and researched it. And I had all these notes. And like I said, I already filmed that. Um, but Maybe it'll be better now. Maybe there was a reason. So I'm going to do that today. Check, check, check. I finally feel like I said, I've come out of some funk. And again, the holidays can do that to people. And, you know, again, I talk about feelings and there are no wrong feelings. So if you're feeling that like down or whatever, um, you know, sometimes I think to myself, oh, I feel like I'm just wasting time. But, you know, I'm so busy all the time that I think we forget how to let ourselves just, you know, sit in that. And it's okay to not do anything. And that's what I said in my mind because it was a holiday. I'm like, oh, it's Friday and everybody has off and it was rainy. And, you know, yesterday Keith and I, I'm like, we got to get out of here um, to encourage each other to do that. So anyway, um... Okay. Oh, and I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas because that'll hold me accountable too. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, I've never done it before, but it's where you post something every day, you know, just something short of your day. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I might challenge myself to that. So, okay. Sorry. Kind of a boring one, <laughs> but you know, this is just, it's the holidays. It's how it goes, but I'm getting ready for Cozumel. I can't wait, uh, with Keith and, oh, I wanted to show you something. So I saw this, my sister bought me this book, but when I got on the road two years ago, Unique 
America, strange, unusual, and just plain fun, a trip through America. And so I hadn't looked in this in a while and I was cleaning the van and I'm going to start to look through here and see if there's places that I'd like to go to, but I had run across this. And so it's like a park at the bottom of the uh, ocean. And I don't think it's that deep, but if you can see, like there's a statue of Christ underwater there and see how she's diving. Um, and I guess that's not very far from us. So Keith and I for sure are going to be doing that and bringing the GoPro. So I think that will be amazing. Listen, I've barely seen fish. I'm in Florida. <laughs> when we went to the pond, there was nothing but other people's legs underneath there. Uh, but I have to get acclimated again uh, to the pressure. Okay, I'm going to let you go here. You know what to do. Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van. I did that, but you can. And uh, go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you ever, even when you're down, you're still magic. Okay. And always look for the good. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.